Hey, what's up everyone? Hunter here. In today's video, I'll be going over how to find winning products on Amazon that can make you over 20,000 per month. This is going to be the easiest way to find those winning products. Now, you will need um, a, a product researching software uh, for this technique uh, for what I'm teaching you. I currently use Jungle Scout. There's also a software out there called Helium 10 that is good as well, but I prefer Jungle Scout just because it has a couple other features that I like to have when doing my product research. I will be dropping the link to Jungle Scout below, so if you want to go check that out, it'll be in the description. Now to get started, once you've signed up for your Jungle Scout account, you're going to go over here to the sidebar. And you're going to want to click on product database you'll be loaded to a screen that looks just like this now I use very few filters when finding my winning products and I'll show you what they are we'll do some product research live and hopefully by the end of the video you'll have a better understanding on how to do this and hopefully it'll be pretty uh, self-explanatory and easy for you after this video so um, the first thing I will uh, filter out is it says select multiple categories. Um, these are the different categories um, of products that you can search for. Uh, so cur typically, I just like to select home and kitchen and kitchen and dining. They're the two categories that I like selling in the most. Um, once again, I've said in other videos in the past, Stick away from products that are fragile or in the electronics niche just because they typically have high return rates and you don't want to deal with that as an Amazon seller. So once you've uh, got the categories you want selected, then we're going to go over here to um, where it says filters. Now for the minimum price, I usually do $25. Um, today I'm going to do $30 and for the max price, I'll do $85. The next filter I'm going to set is minimum revenue and since we're looking for products that make at a minimum 20,000 per month, I'm going to put 20,000 in for the minimum. And the final um, filter I'm going to select for is um, the reviews. Now you want to stay away from selling or launching products that already have high reviews on Amazon. So for max reviews I'm going to put 100. Typically, you want to stay anywhere between under 150 to under 100, you know, 100 reviews, um, just because then you know you'll be able to compete if you launch that product as well. So once you've got the filter set and the category selected, just scroll down and you can click search. And what that will do is below here, once it loads, it'll populate all of the results, all of the different products that you can possibly sell that might be winners you do have to scroll through they're not all going to be winners but we're going to go through them and see what we can find i'm just scrolling through to see until something catches my eye i've been doing this for five years now so i just kind of know what to look for but hopefully once we go through a couple uh you all have a better understanding what to look for as well so we're going to keep scrolling through see again stay away from anything fragile like this glass or picture frames anything like that just because of the review um, the return rate uh, this is interesting this is an eight pack of wine tumblers um, so once you found a product you think you like there's this little um, Amazon logo click on that and what that'll do is it'll take you over to the actual Amazon listing so we can see this is an eight pack. Um, let me see how much they're currently doing a month. They're doing 62,000 a month in revenue, um, 1,380 sales per month. Uh, they're selling for 44.99, so that checks above the $30 mark. They only have 27 reviews, which is really good. It's really low. They're doing really a lot of revenue for the low amount of reviews, so it's definitely an in-demand product. Let me see when it was first available. 
So this is another, uh, this is one of the features that I like um, that Jungle Scout has um, over Helium 10. It has the date uh, the item was first available, um, which is good because uh, you typically want to look for products that were recently launched um, that are selling really well and that have low reviews just because um, then you know that's an in-demand product and most likely if you launch a product you know in a timely matter after like a short amount of time after that you should be able to compete and compete a lot easier than a product that might have been launched a couple of years ago but this is still fairly recent um, and it's got again low reviews so it hits all the, the main points of a winning product the next step would to be to go to alibaba.com and try to find the product, see what you can get the product for, um, because that's always a um, big factor. Just because you found the product and it looks like a winner um, using the software, doesn't mean that you can get it for cheap enough and the profit margin will make sense. So then the next step will be going to alibaba.com. It's a 12 ounce wine tumbler. wine see what they have is that the same thing these come with a straw right now I'm just trying to find a similar product Here's something similar here. Um, let me see the price. $2.10 a piece. Um, let me see. And you can get it with the straws and everything as well. So that would be... And they're selling a eight pack. So you can get them for around $16.80. Um, you probably can get this uh, supplier's price down quite a bit. They do have different colors as well. Um, so then the next step, once you've uh, found this product and you verify that you can get it for cheaper or a lot cheaper than they sell it for on Amazon, um, what you're going to want to do is go over to the FBA Revenue Calculator. This is a free tool, so you don't have to worry about signing up for this one. Um, you're going to click on that. And then just click Continuous Guest. So now you're going to click Search Amazon Catalog. You are going to need the ASIN, and I'll show you where to get that from. Go back to the listing on Amazon and scroll down. And you'll see Product Information, and then you'll see um, ASIN. It usually starts with the, with the letter B. Um, and usually starts with B00 most of the time, um, but just highlight that and then paste, copy and paste that into here and click search. So you're going to be doing Amazon fulfilled uh, fulfillment. The difference, your fulfillment is when you would hold the inventory in yourself, like at your house or warehouse, and then ship it out yourself. Um, but you're going to want to click on Amazon Fulfillment where you send the inventory directly from your manufacturer into Amazon and they handle all the shipping, packing, everything like that. Just a lot less work for you and a lot easier. Um, so as you can see, uh, the estimated uh, net profit per unit is $29, but we have to insert in the um, product cost, uh, which I said was, let me see. That was around, so I'm going to put around $17. Um, so that means the net profit margin is $12.41, which is pretty decent. I like staying, you know, I, I don't want to sell a product that's going to make me less than $10 profit per sale. Um, but anything generally $10 or above, um, as long as the margins look good, I'm okay with that. So this product looks pretty decent. And like I said, you can probably get the supplier or, or the supplier down on price or reach out to a couple different suppliers. That's another tip that I have. Now, just because you found this product 
on Alibaba and the supplier. What I always do um, is before you make your first initial purchase of around 100 or 200 units, I always order a sample. But what I do is I reach out to three or four to five different suppliers that's selling the same product and order a sample from each one. And because I'm not only going off of the best price, I want to go off quality as well. So because that's a big thing. So you don't want to make your first initial purchase and not check the quality of the product before. So that's a big helpful tip that can save you a lot of money. Um, I've had a issue in the when I first got started selling on Amazon, um, I ordered the product in bulk before even testing the quality and I got it in and the product was faulty. It was terrible quality. So I had to eat that mistake. So basically that is a helpful tip that will save you a lot of time and money in the long run. So make sure to do that. So this looks like we found our first product that's a potential winner. Um, when I'm doing product research, we'll go ahead and look for a couple other products. Um, when I'm doing product research, before I jump on one product, I like to you know find five or six different products and just try to weed through them once I've got the five products um, just to see which one's the best fit, which one I think is best to launch. So we'll keep scrolling to see if we can find something else. Again, this is another variation of that product. It's a 12 pack of stainless steel tumblers. You could look into that where we just found that one was a winning product, but I'm gonna skip that for now. Um, these are, this is pretty interesting. So these are um, foldable storage baskets. Um, they're currently doing over 180,000 per month in revenue, um, 2,700 sales per month. They're selling for $66.84. And they've only had they only have three reviews. And they just got launched. I'm not sure. Sometimes um, the these research softwares aren't always correct. So always do your research, check it out, and, and make sure that they are correct because this doesn't seem to be correct to me but you never know until you check okay so yeah so these are actually making this much money wow this this is possibly a really good product to test um let me see if i can find it on alibaba and see how much it's going to cost Actually, this item is its looking like it's out of stock. So we'll move on from this. That actually looked like a really good product, though. Um, let me move on to the next product. Go to the next page. Wait till that loads. Sometimes it does take a while to load, so just be patient with it. All right, let's scroll through here. Also, try to stick away, as you can see, these are um, like a Christmas bow. Try to stick away from items that are seasonal just because you want you want items uh, that will sell all year. You don't want to sell items that only sell a few months out of the year. Um, that's not how you grow uh, you know, a really big brand or how you are truly successful on Amazon. Just so stick away from the seasonal items as much as possible. Um, let's see here. This is a sink under cabinet organizer. This might be pretty interesting if I can find it on Alibaba. As you can see, it's selling for above $30. It's only got 100 reviews. How much is it selling per month? It's selling 68000 per month in revenue. It's got a good sales rate, only 99 reviews. It's showing there, but on the other one, it, I think it was showing 100, right? Yeah, 100. 
like I said, it's not always accurate to a T. This um, launched, it was just launched recently. Um, so that's that's really good. Okay, so we got it here. It is a, by the way, if you're wondering what um, keeps populating above the Amazon listings, this is the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. When you, when you uh, sign up for the Jungle Scout product research software, you'll also get access to the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. Again, um, the link to the Jungle Scout will be in my description. Um, this basically just shows you a couple key um, factors that you'll, that'll be very helpful when doing product research, such as the you know monthly sales, the profit, um, daily sales, revenue. Um, so it's definitely a nice feature to have. So let's go ahead and see if I can find this product on Alibaba. I'm just going to copy and paste part of the title into Alibaba and see what comes up. Sometimes it's hard finding um, the products on Amazon, that are on Amazon in Alibaba. And sometimes it's really simple. It's just kind of a look at the draw kind of thing. Um, so we'll see here once this loads if we can find a similar product. They're not it. Okay, so this is actually the same product, I believe. Okay, so yeah, this is the same product, uh, 571, 585. Um, just click on this for right now. And don't worry about the, um, it says, it said like $22 for shipping. Um, don't worry about that price uh, just because you're going to be no negotiating the shipping charges and costs and everything like that and the product cost. Never um, always negotiate with the price and everything with these um, manufacturers because most of the time they will go down um, on the prices or on shipping charges. Like always negotiate. Um, as you can see, you can get it for $6.30 and it is selling for $38.99. Um, so let's see, it would cost like 13 bucks, uh, for the two pack because I think they're selling it as a two pack. So we'll go to the FBA revenue calculator again. Let that load up. We'll go back to Amazon and scroll down again. We need that ASIN, um, of the product. Let's see right here. Let me copy and paste that. Again, continue as guests. You don't have to sign into your account. Um, go ahead and paste that and click search. So it's $38.99. So the profit is $23. So we'll put in, you know, $14. Nope, nope. Estimated sales. Uh, cost is right here. $14. Uh, okay, estimated uh, net profit $9 per unit. Like I said, um, typically I like staying $10 or above, uh, but since the product cost is only around $14, this would be a pretty decent product to sell just because um, it's got some good numbers. You know, doing um, it just got uh, launched too. So the product was just launched, it's got under 100 reviews, so that means it's definitely in demand selling for above 30 and it's already doing 68,000 per month in sales um, so I definitely would be okay with launching a product like this um, but again I would have to check the quality with the supplier first so always 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 reach out to three or four or five different suppliers not only negotiate pricing with all of them and see who has the best price but also order a sample of each into your house to check to see who has the best quality and then make your decision on who you're gonna order from based on that. Now, to get into uh, a little bit about what you wanna do for your first order, um, you wanna typically stay between 100 to 200 units for your first order. 
just because even though you've done all this research and everything, it's not going to be a 100% guarantee that this product will be a winning product. So you do not want to go ahead and order 500 to 1,000 units, you know, go really big into it and it not be a winning product and then you lose all that money. If you just order around 100 to 200 units, nine times out of 10, you'll be able to sell through that, even though it might take a little longer than you expected, you'll be able to sell through that and at least recoup everything you had into launching your first product so you don't really take much of a loss. Or most of the time you'll break even. Um, but like I said, 100 to 200 units. And then if you notice it's going really well, then go ahead and order you know another couple hundred, 300 units. Um, because a big thing when you launch your first product if you start getting sales and it starts going well, your product's going to start ranking on page one, you know, working its way up to the top where you want it. So you do not want to run out of stock because that'll just allow your competitors to rank above you. And once you've done all this work, you don't want to have that happen. So that's just a helpful side tip as well. So if you have enjoyed this today's video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel.